Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to do a very quick episode um, just to show you the changes that we've made to the team in the January transfer window. Also, apologies, I'm not sure how the sound is going to turn out. Um, I'm actually on holiday for Christmas and I forgot to pack my microphone, so I'm recording from an iPhone 13 microphone. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this is going to sound, but hopefully it's going to sound okay. Um, now we're going to start by uh, looking at the transfers then. So, um, da -da -da. so in this transfer window, we went and got some um, new players just to kind of freshen up the squad. Um, we found a new uh, defensive midfielder, Sean Williams. We also found, I think that that's what it is. Oh no, it's not. It's a, sorry, I'm confusing. I'm doing two different saves. So um, I do have a Sean Williams as, as a defensive midfielder in my other save. So in this save, he's a defensive uh, left fullback. Uh, we also have a new striker, Crane, uh, Craig Gunn. And I believe he's going to be the, on the poacher side of things. Uh, and then we have Charlie Wakefield in the midfield. Uh, Gary McDonald, the other striker, uh, this time as a target forward. And uh, last but not least, a new defensive um, left as well. I've got two new ones. Wow. Okay. Uh, Louis de Souza. Um, he's been recommended by our scouts. It doesn't look great, but yeah, we'll give him some time. So yeah, so we've got those. Um, and one of our players left as well, Tom Leighton, um, just because we, we brought in uh, those new players for the left side of the fence. Right, we're gonna jump into the the season as well. Let's have a look at the schedule. So we we have we've been having a mixture of results, um, not great lately to com be completely honest. Uh, the um, dynamics haven't really improved very much yet. Um, just as a comparison, I've, the other save I've been doing is actually uh, I've been continuing the Hereford save that I did for 2022. Some of you have watched some of those videos. Uh, so just for comparison of if I follow this method, how good the team gets in terms of team cohesion, I'll put a screenshot in here now. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see how to start with, it's a big shock to the club because we're introducing lots and lots and lots of new players but as time goes on um it they kind of you know gel together and they the the, the ones that we keep it, the, yeah, like the majority of them and then it's only a few swaps here and there so the team gets a lot a lot more cohesive and stuff so at the moment we are in seventh uh we're not too far away you know from being a bit in, in a bit of a healthier position, I like to be in the middle of the playoffs just to kind of guarantee we don't have to stress the last minute. But yeah, um, we've been knocked out of all the other competitions. The club is very happy with us. Uh, the fans are neither here or there, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we've got a match coming up, and I've already selected the team for this so we could prepare. And we are going to jump straight into it. I'm also playing on a smaller screen today because I obviously on on holiday I didn't I wasn't able to bring my big screen so the, things might look a little bit different than usual everything's a bit more com condensed on screen it's kind of funny looking at the stadium in this save and the other save I've been doing alongside in my own time um, you know continuing the save from 2022 and the stadium's bigger and this stadium is tiny. By the way, in the other save, we, uh, you know, we left off in Skybet League One, which is still I'm still there. I'm still trying to get promotion from there. So here we are playing uh, for Skybet. Uh, no, we're not. We're playing for Vanarama National League North. Still, we still have not been able to achieve a promotion this year in the season. Uh, sorry, in the series. But I'm hoping uh, we might get to the playoffs this uh, season. One bit that I love about this new FM game is the 
graphics so I was able to get better graphics in this game with the same laptop than the previous version of FM. I had to kind of, in the previous version of FM everything gets a bit stuttery unless I dial everything down to the bare minimum. I can only run things in the bare minimum. Uh, this one is just, I think it's on the standard settings that it comes automatically with. Um, I didn't try to push it any harder to be honest. But it seems to run very smoothly. Oh, Sing nearly got there. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I noticed about this squad is that it concedes a lot of penalties. Um, the main difference between this season and last season, if you've been watching, is um, I played with the actual real life hair uh, players for the first half of the season. And I also build tactics around those players. And now what I'm doing is continuing with the same tactics, uh, but with players that I found myself. And it, it used to go a lot better with the actual real life Hereford players. I'm not actually sure what sort of tactic the actual Hereford real life plays with, but they should be playing with the tactic that I built because it, it really worked really well for them. They were first place. Um, for all of that time. I think I checked just the other day how they actually are doing in real life and they're sort of not bottom of the table but like you know below the middle so they're not actually doing too well in real life. Alright, here we go, We've got a chance to score, there we go, all level, just before half time. Nice control there, brilliant shot, well done. I'm going to leave things as they are for now, and we're going to go on to the second off. I hope this microphone is doing okay as far as clean sound. I'm not sure how much uh, it kind of picks up little taps from my hand and stuff. Right, we're gonna get Kellett out. I'm gonna let him do the... Uh, oh, I can't. I don't have anyone. Okay, never mind. I don't have enough subs to get him out. Just keeper to keeper. <laughs> oh my god, guys, just come on. There's other players on the pitch. Honestly. Just pass the ball. No. Oh, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I just forgot about the ball, didn't he? There we go. We're back in the game. If it stands, that is. I'm not sure if it's offside or not. Looks like it's going to stand. Oh, good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, last minute subs. The very last subs. And who else? I really want to get rid of the Sosa, but I've got no one. Not the Sosa, sorry, Andy Kellett. But I've got
got no one to sub in so it might have to be I'm gonna go with I'm gonna have to do some jiggy pokey here I'm gonna go with Magunda and swap these guys around there we go I think we needed a better left side of midfield for this game to really get somewhere. There we go. Well, we've got a free kick into the hands of the keeper. So yeah, this squad definitely still has some problems that we need to address. The main thing though is that we are saving quite a lot of money because a lot of these players are non-contract players. So I'm hoping if we get a promotion next year we won't have we, we won't have ruined our finances by trying to get like super players. That's one of the issues that I had with last year's save actually and I'm still trying to fix that now as I'm playing in my own time. Is um. The, the club is absolutely broke. Well, I think we're about 2 million in debt and we're not really able to play for to, to pay for new contracts or anything for anyone or even staff to be honest. Right, so here we go. We are still on track to um, get to the playoffs. We are going to have to you know, try really hard to keep things going. But I think I think we probably will get to the playoffs. Um, no, um, no issues there. And I'm just going to show you the um, finances real quick. I think that was been from scouting, but on a whole, we're not losing loads of money. So if I go to last month, yeah, scouting always kind of costs a lot when we've been doing a transfer window. I probably could do it less to be honest, but um yeah, we'll uh, we'll at least try to to keep that down to the bare minimum because uh, we are you know, saving some money on non-contracts uh, by not like maxing all of that out. Uh, I did spend a bit more now in January window. It used to be it used to be about 5k, but I've got some new players, so that's why. But anyway, so that's all for today. I'll come back at the end of the season uh, just to show you how it's gone. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and apologies for the sound if it's bad. Um, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.